what's up y'all so i'm feeling good right now so i decided to make a video about what's going on with me right now because i just made a video saying what was going on with me now i'm finna make another video i'm in a hospital and here yeah, so yeah. video i stated that I have bulging this. I came to the hospital and found out I have bulging this. Previously, a couple months ago, I came to the hospital and found out I have uh, muscle spasm in my and chest. I came um, down with a little cold or something. I guess my head started to hurt. My neck started to hurt. My chest started to hurt. And my back started to hurt. And of course, when my back hurt, my butt and legs and my feet hurt out of nowhere my my left side of my stomach started to hurt really bad the whole left side kind of by my ribs started to hurt really so i started bad. to tell my mom like when i'm walking you know to get ready to go to work i'm losing my breath a lot when i'm um walking in work and all of that stuff I'm losing my breath. It's hard for me to breathe. If I'm going up the stairs in our house, when I get up the stairs, I'm exhausted. I need to stop and take a, a billion breaks because I'm tired. I was at home. I was cold, but my body would be hot. I would wake up sweating. It was just oh, crazy. I needed to go to the hospital. Once my brother got home that night, so he could be able to watch the babies, we came to the hospital. To figure out why I was in pain. They came to figure out why I was in pain. And um, they took blood for me. I really wasn't tripping off of it. I was in so much pain. Now, I hate shots, y'all. I hate I shots. cry when I get a shot. I would give that person who gave me the shot the worst time ever. Not the type of person who could just take a shot easily. But... <clears throat> I took the shots easily. The shots easily. Then they decided to give me a IV. So I have an IV in my hand. I've had this in my hand for a couple days now. So I came here to figure out what my pain was. And they did a CAT scan on me to figure out what was my pain. And I'm thinking once they come and tell me, they're going to give me um pain medicine they come and tell me that the my left side that was hurting really bad my kidney was infected um how one got infected i'm not sure they said it could be because i don't drink enough water so i've been getting so much medicine I've been getting antibiotics. I've been getting um, a lot. They also said that my potassium was low. I think it was at 298. And it's supposed to be in between 5 something and 7 something. So it was a way low. So they've been giving me big bags like this of potassium. Let me see if I can bring this closer. Which is, this is kind of almost done right here. Anyway, but I've been getting like big bags of potassium like this. And um, bags like this right here is, um, so I've been getting big bags like this of potassium. And um, bags like this that has and this is um, antibiotics to clean up um, my infected kidney. I've had a lot of bags of the antibiotics, of the potassium. Um, I saw my blood sugar, I mean, my blood, my blood sugar, my blood pressure has been going up, not up high. But it has been going super low. Then it'll go up. Then it'll go lower. It's, um, last time I checked, or last time they checked, it was at 110. 
which is it's good. It's not great, but it's good. Um, my temperature when I came in hospital, it was 105 and when I was in the emergency room. Then when they checked it again, it was at 95. So I was happy about that because they won't let you leave if your temperature is high. Um, when they check me, my temperature keep going to the hundreds. Then they'll check me again and it go back down. Then they'll check me again and go back to the hundreds. Then they'll check me again and it'll go back down. Um, I have this on for oxygen right now because when I get up and walk to the bathroom or anywhere, since my chest is hurting, it's hard for me to breathe correctly. So my breathing was at 85. It's supposed to be above 95. Um, she said, while you're sleeping, she said while you're sleeping, it should be 95. So that's just sleeping. So awake, it should be higher than that. And me being awake, I was at 85. So they gave me oxygen. Um, because I wasn't breathing correctly or getting enough oxygen. Um, my heart was good. It was kind of off a little bit, but it was good now. y'all <laughs> I'm back uh, as y'all can see I am home finally my mom combed my hair and did these little her little idea she wanted to do for braids in my hair um I got released from the hospital yesterday which was um I'm not for sure Let's see. Yesterday was the 20th. I got released from the hospital yesterday. The 20th. They let me go because my potassium went up. My temperature stayed under the hundreds. Um, my breathing, it's still hard for me to breathe. <clears throat> Before I got ready to leave, they told me that they could see in my lungs that pneumonia was forming in my lungs. So when my kidney infected and my lungs forming pneumonia, it's sometimes hard for me to breathe correctly. So I have to follow up with a doctor, maybe get like an asthma pump or something. Hopefully when everything goes back to normal, my breathing will go back to normal. So when I'm walking, because we have stairs in my house and I have two children, I lose my breath a little bit of a lot, or if I'm talking a lot, like now, then I'll need to take deep breaths in between. So, um, everything was good when I left the hospital. They just told me that they could see that pneumonia was starting to form. So I got some pills that's for my kidneys to help them. And also, it would treat the pneumonia that's trying to form in my lungs. It'll knock both of them out at the same time. I have to take that once a day. That medicine, that medicine is really strong, so I only have to take it once a day. I have to take another medicine twice a day. That medicine is to basically like co like co-parent with the other medicine. The medicine that I have to take once a day. It's the antibiotic and all of that stuff. So it helps get rid of the bad things inside of me. It's going to help get rid of the bad things inside of me, but it's also going to help. Um, it's not going to help. It's going to hurt also because it's going to take the good uh, Basically, stuff. It's going to get rid of the bad germs.
and it's also going to get rid of some of my good germs. So the second medicine that I'm taking is going to help to put back in those good germs that I need that will fight off the bad germs, if that makes any sense. With just my kidney and the pneumonia, they was able to send me home with some antibiotics. They just really had to make sure that everything else went up before they sent me home. Overly super happy to be home. I'm glad, I'm still glad to be home with my babies. Um, this experience was really crazy. I still have to make doctor's appointments for follow-ups and make sure that my kidney is good. But I just wanted to, you know, update y'all and share with y'all. Um, <coughs> that first clip of me in the hospital, I think that I made that two days prior from today. So today is Thursday, and I made that on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, when I was starting to feel good. But a little bit after that video... I started to feel kind of like, you know, I needed medicine. So I ended up getting medicine after that video. It started to, I started to get, feel a little bad. I ended up getting medicine after that. But I'm making it, y'all. Love you guys. And all the supportive things that y'all have been saying. Um, with God, anything is possible. Anything could get I can get through anything with him. Um, this is his battle, not mine. And I'm gonna hold my head up because he's just using me in a way that I don't know, but he knows. So I will see y'all later. I will keep y'all updated and y'all stay blessed. Because no matter what I'm going through, I am still blessed, baby. Still blessed.